Hello everyone, Fluffy here. Um, it's been a couple of days uh, since I filmed. I um, was kind of waiting for what's in this bowl. My niece is in town. I believe I've mentioned that, the one from uh, Louisiana, and she's here to visit with my mother, her grandma, for a belated birthday celebration. Uh, so she had a while ago had made some pozole and um, it looks so good on Facebook that she said that she would free some and when she came this weekend that she'd bring it to me and I was hopeful but I wasn't gonna ask about it well guess what she did and I heated it up and it looks like it's got these almost look like pork chops and there's hominy and you know every time I do this you know what happens but I'm gonna try okay let's see if I can get it close up that looks good doesn't it and here are some corn tortillas that I just microwaved and that's not the proper way to do it I do have a comal but it takes too dang long and, and I don't have a gas burner so I'm gonna put I want you to get a close-up of this. So what I'm going to do, because I'm so messy, I'm going to put it on top of the corn tortilla and I see if I can get you a good look. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Not as hot, like stove hot, I'd like it, but it's very good. Really? I gotta pause y'all, I dropped my spoon. Hang on just a second. I'm back, hopefully that's not too much of a glitch. I, I was trying to get in the exact same position I was before, but I don't think I am, so hope that wasn't a ooh. <laughs> anyway, it tastes very flavorful. In spite of the fact that it, it was real hot in the container I microwaved it, so I don't know what happened. Mm. I have water, Miss Mona. How are you, by the way? I haven't talked to you in a few days. Hope everything is good your way. I'd be happy to do it pretty good. I feel a I don't know if it's fibro headache coming on or sinuses. I've, you know, got issues here and it's been feeling kind of swollen, but not an extra bad, just regular stuff. So I'm doing good, doing real good. Doing real good. I had a real good visit. What's today? Saturday. So yesterday with my niece, my mom made some pork loin and um, mashed potatoes and gravy. God, it was good. It was real good. I had most of the family there. All right, my niece, I know the crew of hers, her co-workers in that office. I know you'll be watching this and I just want you to know, try to get her to do the mukbang with me since this is her recipe, but she wouldn't do it. I totally understand it's a shame but um, she did a selfie and texted it to one person so she'll show y'all I look the same <laughs> but she doesn't mind watching me but I'm telling you it's something to eat in front of people so but. See my little man here. Let me turn the camera a little bit. You see him? He's getting real batty. I dropped, of course, with me when it rains, it pours. So when I bit down to pick up the spoon, a piece of this fell, the one I had been working on, and he snatched it up before I could grab it. I normally don't mind, except for, remember how I was telling you that I was cheating by 
putting some of human food inside his, his food so he eat it. Now he's resorted to just eating out the human food um, and leaving the dog food so he's getting too used to the human food so he's been deprived and so he's been starting to eat his food and then today I got up and I know that he doesn't eat right away so I didn't give him anything but then I started I think with the headache I needed to go lay down and I usually take excuse me I usually take a nap during the day so I went to take a nap and my daughter wasn't home and when I got up I didn't feed him and then it was like five or six o'clock and I realized oh my gosh she hasn't eaten all day I mean they have access to the dry but so I gave him some but I was eating at the time my daughter had made some noodles and gravy you know I love noodles and gravy and so I was eating that well I felt bad and I backslid and I put a little gravy on his food and he ate most of it but now he wants this food that's why he's staring no no Cito, no. <laughs> well, he's listening, right? <laughs> he's like, go ahead, just drop another quarter, dear. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'll tell you, we, uh, these dogs are something else. How many of y'all like Doctor Who? Doctor Who. At first, when my daughter first had me watch it, I didn't understand the heavy accents at first, so I was constantly having to ask her what they say. I frustrated her. Um, if anybody ever knows anything about Doctor Who, because he's a time traveler, they talk, go back and forward, back and forward with the timeline. So it was really hard for me to keep up. So, what she did was, she had me watch from the beginning. Not like the original series, but when they did the remake in 09, 05, 09. From that point on, forward. So, once it started that way, I was able to keep up. So, we're working on the last season that got filmed with Capaldi. And then, I guess we're going to watch the Christmas special. And then we just sit and wait for the new series to come out. So, it got pulled off Netflix, but we both have Amazon Prime, but um, the uh, just a second. The Roku that we have, like I said, we have Netflix on there. We've got um, YouTube on there. It's like apps on a phone, and she installed her Amazon account on there, so it's on Amazon for free. So. Oh, niece of mine, this is so good. So good. This is most certainly hitting the spot. I should have taken the patience to put dice some white onion on top. Oh. What was that? <laughs> it was stomach sounds coming up through my mouth because I had it open. I went bent forward. Mm. Y'all, <laughs> look. I tell myself so that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, then y'all can go back and go, oh my God, she's right. I like to go back after every now and again to rewatch my videos so that I can kind of critique myself and think about subjects that I've already talked about. Oh, I already talked about that. Maybe, you know, don't tell the whole story type of thing. And I was re-watching the Udo Noodle one. And if I had to critique it, it had, and you saw that when I did the close-up shot, it had a ton of parsley in it. It wasn't nori because I couldn't taste that. It really didn't have too much flavor, but I guess to make it look prettier, 
they put a ton of it and I noticed that the whole video here I had I had a piece that had gotten underneath there when I tore it open and did it it got underneath there it was one stuck in my bottom teeth because I don't have straight teeth uh, one stuck in there the whole time and I when I'm watching I'm going do I ever go to get it out and it was in my phone had I been on the, this computer one the image would have been big enough that I would have noticed it and I would have tried to be ladylike and remove it and then if they didn't make things worse <laughs> I had my shirt inside out if you really look at it you can see the seams <laughs> what the hell I've been up for a while it wasn't like I drug my behind out of bed and went straight to the kitchen to heat up <laughs> I don't know <laughs> So needless to say, I was real careful about today. Got my bra on, but although I notice here, it used to be a little B, but now it's a hole. But wink, wink, we'll call it a B because it's Tigger on the front. I'm a Tigger fan. so good this juice is my favorite part <laughs> well I don't know if I discussed this um I was talking to Marty Nikki my other favorite <laughs> Uh, YouTuber just kind of hit it off <clears throat> I was telling him about you know mommy Tang and I promise I won't bring her up every time but just so y'all know if you hadn't heard his husband or best friend was on Instagram or something and they saw a short video of mommy's littlest one Pepita in a video saying that she'd see us in a few days with another mukbang so that was what's today saturday maybe thursday so i'm hoping we'll start our monday off with a video from her i'm excited so i didn't know if y'all knew that knew the latest update <clears throat> i can't wait to, sh to see what she's gonna cook Superfly, who lives in Florida, she's a sweet lady. She's also a mukbanger. She's done a couple of vlogs, which are really cool. Um, updated us. She's in Florida, and with her mind barreling down on them, she gave us an update. I'm sure if you watch me, you watch her, but she's doing well. In case y'all haven't seen her recent video. Y'all, did my uh, phone bling? I told my wife I was filming so she wouldn't call, but I didn't know she'd. Oh, I've got to tell her be careful. I one of those that if I don't, it'll jinx her. Yes, I'm superstitious. I'm literally gone a different way home this was years ago gone a different way home because a cat crossed the street <laughs> yes <laughs> look I figure I got enough bad luck why push it <sighs> why push it now look I promise you, I just didn't learn how to eat. It's an awkward position because I got the TV tray lengthwise, so I don't have to put together two. 
lengthwise, and this gets me a, you a closer view. And then the box that that external microphone came in is what the bowl's on top of. Well, I've got a gut, so the gut hangs in front, and it's pushing up against the leg, which means I can't get real close. If I pull this box closer, I'm afraid that, well, I'll be wearing it. I mean, maybe if I turn it and pull it forward. Yeah, that might work. We'll see. If not, it'll be a very short mukbang because I won't be eating it. I'll be wearing it. <laughs> and it will be hilarious, so I would post it anyway. But depending on the length of this video, it is 10 o'clock at night on Saturday night, Texas time. And what I'll do is, what I usually do, I'll stop it and I'll replay it uh, and make sure there's no boob hanging out or the dog's not doing something obscene or, you know. But, um, and then I, when I watch it in, in, in its entirety, I immediately upload it and that usually takes hours God, I need some mine you did such a good job you're leaving Monday maybe I can try to make some of my salsa I owe your brother some too for helping me out with my car so Maybe I can get to the store and make some salsa. You can take it back with you. I can return your container. You brought this in with salsa. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Not missing my mouth as often. Hmm. These are a little dry because I cooked them stupid. I should have taken the time to put them on the kamal because they taste raw. Mm. Drucker, is that his name? Becker? Did you see where I try not to bring up current events, you know. But that college kid, that swimmer, sexually assaulted that chick behind the dumpster and then he only got six months in jail. He was already out. He only did three months. Got out with good behavior. Sorry, son of a, you know what? That just ain't right. I'm talking about white privilege in action. Which just would have been a white bowl. The only downside is when I have the black bowls because it's so dark that you can't see it. Look, I didn't even, I've been shoveling it down. I haven't even shoveled it to y'all again. Sorry. Good, isn't it? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. There's a quake in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's something. 
was in California, apparently Texas heard it, but for what I understand, and anybody that knows um, genealogy, geology, seismicology, anyway, I've heard years ago that there was actually a fault line down the center of Texas. But the possibility of an earthquake, if there is a possibility, very slim because the structure, it's in the middle of the continent, I don't know. But <clears throat> Apparently it's getting closer. Oklahoma, 5.6. Next to Kansas City, Oklahoma, I think it said. That's where I was born in Oklahoma. But I left when I was an infant, so I don't know it at all. But technically, I'm an Okie. I keep thinking of, you know, people sometimes make really witty comments. Is my lip stain, does that look red? <laughs> I've expanded the screen, so it's kind of grainy, but... See, though, I'm going to feed you your dog food, and if you don't eat it, I swear I'm going to shove it down your throat with a tube. No. Don't call the I'm not going to do that. See the what? 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 Come here. All right, get down. Callie, come here. Come here for the, come on quick, for the studio audience, up, up. This is Callie, this is my wife's oldest. Here you go, boo-boo, do you like it? Yeah? You don't like it, you keep spitting it out. You're not getting any of this, it's too spicy. This is Callie. See, what is she, y'all? She's part, they said, the doc said, Australian Shepherd, and we don't know what else. All right, get down. Good girl. Sheba. Sheba. Up here. No. Finley. Look. You like it? Hmm? That's Sheba. She's mine. She's the half. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. Mm -hmm. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're a good girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, one more piece. Pain in my butt. All right, go on. Go. All right. They're kind of skittish of the little one because he's the only male dog. And so he gets a special soft dog food. And I'm constantly yelling at her because she doesn't, she's not careful and she tromps the little dog. So. He's like, you're telling me to come, but I'll get in trouble if I... And the little one kept jumping up, so she got afraid that she'd get in trouble if she accidentally tromped her, so that's partly my fault, I suppose. views on the road. Thank you so much for giving me a shout out. I really appreciate that. I like you very much too. You're so funny. <laughs> the other day she did a um, mukbang in her car. Uh, Taco Bell mukbang. And she was like, oh, I don't know what to call them. <laughs> and of course, they're pronounced bang, mukbang, but it's spelled bang. M U K B A N G Bang. So I said, why not call him a car bong? But on paper, 
when you print it, it looks like car bang. And she started laughing. I can't do that with my husband in the car. <laughs> it was hilarious. It was so hilarious. But she went into the gutter. And as soon as I saw it, I went into the gutter. <laughs> it was funny. You're a hoot lady. I really like you. You're very funny. Can't wait to watch your next video. Mmm. Y'all, I have a package. I only bought one package. The Fire Noodle Challenge. And I'll see how it goes. Because, um, I don't know if I could take all that heat. But we'll see. I pride myself into eating real hot. I go to an Indian restaurant and when you order, they ask you like your curry. And I usually order chili shrimp and they ask, you know, you can get it mild medium or hot and one of the last times when I said no hurt me and boy they hurt me <laughs> so every time I go he just looks at me the waiter remember I told you he was good he's like hurt you <laughs> well when you order your curry I I don't really like lamb I know um, views I know you said that lamb was really good in that dish but I didn't normally anytime I ever had it at a Middle Eastern restaurant I could taste that game in it and it was kind of little but this particular Indian restaurant it was a lamb curry and oh my god it was so good and um you can also order and he goes you would would you like it hot and so I didn't tell him to hurt me I just said hot and it was really hot so I think I can take it but like kimchi is hot but when you get chile hot like a curry or something like the ramen it's oily hot and when it's oily hot that oil tends to stick on your tongue and that's when you get the real bad heat because it kind of coats your tongue so we'll see how much of a sissy that's coming real soon um about the kimchi the um ponytail kimchi although it, it was kind of puffy so i don't know if it's already starting to turn so i can't eat fresh kimchi or cabbage kimchi just out of the container when it goes too far when it gets too sour so hopefully I'll uh, be able to eat it soon I don't know if I'll have it with the um, fire noodles that might be a very very quick mukbang if I can't take it because I'm not gonna you know kill my stomach with my hernia and stuff uh, so the minute I just know I can't take it I'm, I won't push it uh, old me would have pushed it but oh and just to let y'all know <laughs> that one vlog that I woke up and I had that horrible night because of the Chinese buffet and I said that uh, I wouldn't do it again because I can't show with strength losing Drea uh, I haven't seen you any of videos from you in a while lady where you been I hope you're all doing all right but she commented that she has a hard time at buffets too because you can't justify the amount for just what little that you eat but I learned my lesson on Tuesday we took my mother out to no Wednesday on her actual birthday we took her out to a uh, all-you-can-eat Asian buffet not the one that made me sick as far as because I ate it too fast and all that but the other one my my mom's favorite and uh, we went there and I'm like oh my god buffet buffet and I told y'all to pray for me well y'all must have because it worked uh, I did get um, not as much as I normally eat but I took my time chewed real well um, you know ate slower and what what what's the word I'm using because I'm coming short paced myself I guess and I was fine had no problems at all I didn't eat the quantity that I normally eat um, so I did really good I, I meant, meant to tell you I gotta tell them that and so um, anyway <clears throat> now, I hope you enjoyed this Pasola oh, niece of mine the Pasola was awesome shout out to your crew at your office like I said she wouldn't do the mukbang with me and that's okay that's okay she has a right not to it's not for everyone but she does support my channel her and her office uh, watches me all the time and I'm happy about that that makes me happy um, had an, have another person that um, has fibromyalgia that has recently uh, subbed my channel so um, you know who you are I think Mew Mew is that who you are I wasn't gonna say your name because of I didn't know if you wanted everybody to know but then you told me in the comments so you knew other people would read it so um, 
welcome aboard. Hopefully, um, didn't really talk about it today. I try to give the non fibro people a little bit of, of a break. Um, I had some good questions that come up, and I'll go back and I'll write them down for the next month. Bonnie, it won't be during the spicy noodle challenge because <laughs> I may not be able to talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. God bless everyone. Positive vibes out to everyone of y'all. Um, Kelly, did you try the uh, kimchi like you said? I hope you asked for the fresh one. Um, good way to, to see if it's pretty fresh in the jar. If nobody will tell you, make sure that the lid isn't puffing at all. Uh, take a look at the juice. If the juice is all the way up to the lid, that means it's starting to turn already because gases are growing in there. Um, if it's not too high, that means it really it's pretty fresh. Um, so you'll know. And then as you start to learn to eat it, you'll know. It, uh, the juice kind of gets slimy. And uh, you didn't use that word the other day, but that's exactly it. Pulls, it's kind of slimy. Kind of like a real thick juice when you get um, like diced peaches and stuff. Um, anyway, let me know. Hope it's in a mukbang. I want to see you make a face if you don't like it. <laughs> I'm sick, aren't I? <laughs> One of those Mexican things, remember? <laughs> you remember the bad stuff? <laughs> anyway, God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to every single one of y'all. I hope you had a really great weekend. Uh, or having one, because it's only Saturday. Um, maybe tomorrow. The wife is still working. Uh, I'll do the spicy noodle challenge uh, tomorrow. Uh, my daughter is going to breakfast with my mother. I don't know if I'll be awake or not. I took a late nap, but I'm already tired, so we'll see. You'll see it when you see it. Bye, y'all. <laughs>